Martin Kenny is a flat earther, or used to be, that featured on this channel before. As I said, he was once a flat earther, but decided to abandon all that for something which made much more sense. The Cosmic Egg Universe. Hello all and welcome along to another video and day 18 of One A Day For May where I release a video every single day for the month of May. My name is Simon Dan, thanks very much for joining me. Right, on with today's video then, and Martin Kenny. He has been asked, apparently, to explain the Cosmic Egg universe in more detail. So this is him doing that. Take it away, Martin. Many of you have been asking me, what did I mean by the spell of our tomb? Many of you have been asking me to explain the Cosmic Egg in more detail. Here it is, very simply put, for anyone to understand or to understand. The Earth is an electromagnetic field of memories. And what a start Martin makes, an electromagnetic field of memories. Amazing. With two wave amplitudes. It's got magnetic waves and electric waves, red and blue. People like Santos, Bonacci, people like many other people. I could name a list of people talk about this extensively, so I'm not going to go too deeply into it. Ah, oh, Santos talks about it. Well, it must be true then. If you don't know who Santos is, then let me tell you. He's possibly the worst person you can refer to when you're trying to explain something. What I am going to explain to you today is the dielectric or the dipole nature of what our Earth is in relation to what we are and what ascension is. This is a very crude crude depiction of what the universe looks like. This is the plane of inertia in the middle of the hyperbolic um, toroidal field of our universe. The hyperbolic toroidal field of our universe. Let's break that down. A negatively curved donut shape. That's what you're going for? All right then. Although Cosmic Egg Universe does sound better. And of course, I'm sure you've got some suitable evidence for this, Martin. This is one side, the other is the one side. One side is magnetic and one side is electric. This is the magnetic side. This is the electric side. The electric side of electrons and photons is the side of a tomb. It's the tomb. It's underneath. Right? We are in the tomb. We are under. We are at the bottom. We are in the underworld. This is Helios. It's hell. We are under the electric, we are under the, the um, plane of inertia. We are on the red side. Well, that doesn't sound too pretty. By the way, did you say electrons and photons? You did, didn't you? This sounds like you've cobbled together a load of sciencey words and then spoke them with extreme confidence. There is absolutely no substance here, is there? On the other side is the magnetic side. This is the mother, this is the womb. This is the etheric realm of magnetic ether. This side that we're in is the atomic realm of electrons, electronic light that we're in. We've been fractalized into light, into souls. We should be etheric. We are etheric beings. Etheric beings, hey? Again, any evidence for this or is it all just in your imagination? When I say we, I'm not talking about your soul. Your soul is a fractal. I'm talking about your field of consciousness which is triangulated memories consciousness is just memories that have been triangulated into a matrix of cohesive waves basically that doesn't sound very basic and if you're being honest you're making this up aren't you your cohesive memories ascension is coming out of a tomb the tomb this side of the earth this side of the plane to the other side of the plane. Sounds like what I do when I need the loo on a long haul flight. Hyperborea. This is the black hole in the middle. A black hole in the middle. So where does Earth fit into all this then? Of the plane of inertia. Electric, magnetic. We live on the, other, on the other, underside. We are a sl small tiny pond on this side of the electric field. There are many other worlds 
here on the electric side. When we talk about other worlds, even that itself is still the world of Atum. Everything on this side of the plane is Atum. We want to go back into the womb, into the waters of ether. Here at the top, the magnetic side, into Hyperborea. So we are a pond in an electric realm that has a black hole in the middle of it. But we want to try to get to the magnetic realm above because we are etheric beings. Have I got that right? Seems a bit much, doesn't it? This is what ascension is. In this side, in this dimension, in this hemisphere of the Earth. See, the Earth has two hemispheres. One hemisphere is electric. And one hemisphere is magnetic. Oh, well, I'm all good then up here in the northern hemisphere. I assume that's the magnetic one. Ascension completed. We are in the electric hemisphere. You want to be in the magnetic hemisphere. Oh, well, how do I do that? Of etheric dark matter. Not atomic light matter. We've been atomized. In this realm, everything is atomized. It is slower. It is a much lower vibrational frequency of memories, of memory matriculation. Memory matriculation is much higher in the magnetic, in the magnetosphere. On this side. Okay, I'm getting confused now. The actual magnetosphere or the made up one in your story? Information comes directly from the morphogenetic field. The morphogenic field? What is that when it's at home? There are no, because it's all inverse. There are no barriers. There are no, there's no perpetuation in the magnetic side, in Hyperborea. On the other side of the earth, where you're standing right now, there is another earth underneath your feet, actually on top of you. You are underneath. You are upside down. Okay. High magnetic realm. Hope it's cool up there. We are all upside down. Everything is reversed in this side, in the underworld, in the world of Helios. The black sun is here. Orbiting here. This is the black sun orbiting. This is the magnetic north pole that links the two dimensions. Hang on, I thought that was the black hole. And what is a black sun? Eden is here from our perspectives. On this side, we are here. Eden is here. On this side, it's still in the atmosphere, in the world of our tomb. But this is the portal, the black hole. So it is a black hole. Make your mind up, Martin. Mount Meru is this hyperbolic vortex where you can flip upside down into the other side of the world or into the other dimension. The magnetosphere, the magnetic dimension of ether. This is very simple, guys. It's really, really, really simple. And the only way to do this is to flip your own dipole inside your own electromagnetic field because we are fractalized. Right? No, we are fractalized. I've got to be honest here, Martin. This doesn't sound simple. Do we need training for this? Has anyone done it before? As human beings, we've been fractalized into a soul. An atomic soul. You need to build your macabre, your etheric body. And when you build your etheric body, you become a magnetic Right, now we're getting somewhere. How do I build my etheric body then? Field of memories. You can magnetize yourself. You become magnetic magic. Okay, you can't tell me that he's not making this up as he goes along. Come on. The magnet. This is what alchemy is. It's transforming or transducing your dark matter within you, your primateria, which is transduced into various forms inside our bodies, various elements and chemicals. That's the magic spell.
Now that's called biology and chemistry. Your memory field of dark matter has been fractalized into all kinds of compounds and we keep reincarnating in the tomb. Yeah, from the womb of your mother, which really is connected to Hyperborea. This is where you go when you're dreaming, Hyperborea. <gasps> is that the astral projection plane? Maybe that dude from a couple of weeks ago was onto something. Well, at least our fractalized etheric body. We've got to materialize that etheric body. Some of you all think I'm crazy, but that's all good. You'll get it eventually. I don't think we will, Martin. And once again, if you've got evidence for any of these theories, now is the time to show us. This is just a small snippet of what there is to discover and explore. If you're interested in sharing a space where we can begin to dissect a lot of what I've just shared with you, email pinealfoundation at gmail.com. Pinealfoundation at gmail.com. No long emails. Don't tell me your life story. Just put Alchemy Pineal Lighthouse. Alchemy Pineal Lighthouse. I will send you a link to a hub where we are convening to really discuss a lot of this information of how we can begin the great works of alchemy that many, many, many great fields of consciousness have tried to tell us over many eons. I'm going to be honest with you, Martin, I'm not going to do that. What you have described over the last eight minutes is possibly one of the worst explanations I've ever seen for anything. And that really is saying something. You have no evidence. You made most of it up as you went along. It really was just all nonsense. Dear, oh dear. No Cosmic Egg Universe for me today, I'm afraid. Well, there we go. What do we all think of Martin's presentation there? Let me know in the comments below. As I say, we're all done and dusted for another one. Thanks so much for watching today. It is, as ever, appreciated. If you enjoyed it and want to see more of the same, please do hit that subscribe button. As I said at the moment, it's daily videos. Uh, and if you really enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button too. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you all tomorrow uh, for a Flat Earth experiment. Sounds interesting. See you then.